What's up, baby? Welcome back, man. Donnie Fitness, man. Here again, man. I just feel like some. I just finished some pull-ups, some dips, some push-ups, superset. And now I'm finna go and do my little, my little spread workout, with the 30-pound dumbbells I got, man. So, like I say, man, just getting it in. Another day on the grind for the beast, Donnie Fitness. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, I want to keep these videos coming, man, and just they stay focused on y'all, man, and just show y'all, man, to stay motivated through everything we're going through right now, man. So, like I say, I got my 30-pound dumbbells. Hit me some spread workouts, you know what I'm saying? Like a full body workout. And we're gonna keep this thing rolling, baby. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep this thing moving. These 30 pound dumbbells. First set. Like I say, you don't need a lot, like a lot of weight. Just keep the repetition, rep it. It will get just as much burn, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing 20 an arm, 15 an arm, you know, as long as you keep the reps high. And see, that's where we at, man. We, we want repetition, man. You know, that's what you want when you work out. You want to get that burn. You want to get that sweating going on. You want to be able to get a pump. See, there's nothing wrong with, like, doing a lot of weight. Thing about it is with a lot of weight is that you don't really get a burn like you want to because you really you're going for strength. But when you go for repetition, you gain symmetry. So when you gain when you're doing symmetry, you're getting you're getting a burn, your your muscles are pumping, your blood's flowing through your, your veins, you know, so that's why it's good to do get repetition in. that burn. Just kind of rotate, so you know. But like I say, man, when you when you repping, man, it's a very very good thing when you repping. Like I say, you really getting that pump, you know. A lot of people wanna, like I say, weightlifting is not about who the strongest. It's about getting your reps, being able to max out your muscle group. What I mean by max out your muscle group is being able to get that full pump for the muscle group that you're using. Not just doing it a little bit and then say, oh, I'm, I'm tired and it's no. Do it till you can't do it no more. When you first, what I mean by that is, at least get a good pump. You know when you're pumping, you can feel that tension when it's really time to stop. Don't stop just because you felt like you did enough, but stop when it's really time to stop, when you're feeling that, that, that good pain, that tension. So you know to rest a little bit and then pick it back up.
Now I feel that burn. But I gotta keep going. 18. I just can't do enough. 19. One. One. That's how you break these plateaus. That's how you get past the plateau. You know, I get a lot of questions. People ask me, how do you get past the plateau? Well, how you get past the plateau is you got to be able to go the extra mile. If you've been doing 10 reps for, let's say, two weeks. I'm going to just say two weeks. Try to push it up to these 12 or 13 reps. Always add an extra rep on there. That's how you get past that plateau. If you consistently stay doing the same rep, your body's going to stay consistently just being just like that. going to stay doing the same thing. It's not going to want to achieve. So your brain operates your whole body. When you tell your body that I, I got to get 13, tell your brain, you tell it in your mind, say, I got to get 13, I got to get three, four more reps. Your body's going to start to kind of catch on and operate to that. This is how the, this is how the body works. This is how amazing God made us. So when you're doing something, always try to throw, get a little extra mile in there. Two or three more reps. Don't just do enough reps and just say, oh, that's good. No. Tight now. 18. 90. Uh, uh, two. Three. I'm burning now. Oh. Wow, I can feel it. Real tight. Yes. But I have to get it. Hey. Nah. Need 30. Uh. Oh. When I got to 20, I already felt it already. But I know that I can't stay right there. I got to get to where I need to get at. Because I had to see over the weeks, I had to train my mind. And that's, why, that's what you call getting gains. When you can train your mind and say, you know what, I can do that, your body going to operate. Anything you do, I don't care what sports you're doing, anything, tests or college, if you train your mind to it, you'll be able to achieve it because you already done set your mind that, hey, I got to go higher. I'm not just going to settle for this. And that's the thing with weight training. I don't care if you're doing yoga, any exercise you're doing, you want to be able to push yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get gains and get better at what you're doing. So that's something to also keep in mind too. Don't turn back, don't know. Keep everything studied. Call these rows, just like if you're doing single rows, these just the double rows. You know, to keep, to keep that good, nice arc, sit down, boo. Don't be pinning knees or leaning over. Just like if you get ready to sit down, everything straight. But I always say, form is key. When you got great form and great technique, no matter how much weight you got, if you got a lot of weight, you're doing it, but doing it incorrectly, you ain't gonna get the right results. So if you got lightweight, doing it the right way, you're gonna get better results. Believe me when I say that. Because I haven't went heavy in so, so, so long. But just like I said, repetition.
got my little, this is like my little pre-workout juice. Oh. Great to have, man. Like I said, try to get it under the shade a little bit. But you can see it's a beautiful day out, man. Great for a run, great for exercise, you know. Four sets, that's a hundred reps. So I got one set. Try to do 15, 20, 25. I want y'all to keep it above 15, man. We won't get reps. Cause like I said, when you got a, when you got the size you want to be at, now you want to tone and tighten everything up. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the keys too in fitness. It's toning, tightening up. So there's nothing wrong, like I said, you guys doing heavy weight, but just remember to get a pump, to get them blood flowing, get them veins running, get them get that, get your whole blood circulating. That involves reps. favorite exercises, those rows. Woo. Oh, what a day, what a day, baby. Keep it all coming, man. Donnie Fitness, man. Like I say, y'all like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, man. Y'all, like I say, get my subscribe to my channel. Keep y'all going, baby. Nothing ever stop to be. No matter what I'm going through, what's going on, this is my passion. So I must, you know, share my knowledge to help people get in a healthier lifestyle. You know, so if you that if you seeing my training videos, you know, or you're working out with me, I like to pass my knowledge on and help others, man. You know, it ain't all about me. It's all about helping out, you know. So that's why I do these videos. I only do these videos just for entertainment. I do these videos to keep you motivated. So whether you like my video, you don't like my video, you like somebody that video, you know, I'm doing something you can't do, you know. But like I said, I try to kind of show everybody what they can do, man or woman, you know, so. Dumbbell military press. That's real good. These are 30 pounders, I'm pretty sure. And y'all see me before I did a little heavier, but I only got 30 pounds to work with. So if I only got 30 pounds to work with, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to rep, I'm gonna rep it. You know what I'm saying? It's not that it's, it's not heavy, but I can rep it so I can feel it. I can feel that pressure, I can feel that pain. 
It's repetition. It's not that it's not heavy. I pretty you know, like I said, I could I could rep the fifties and you see me do higher six seventies, seventy fives, you know, I did eighty fives, nineties, but I only got thirty pounds to work with. So when you only got something to work with, you have to what? You have to improvise. So I got thirty pound dumbbells. I'm gonna rep these out. As you notice, I did 30 the first time, 25 the second time. It's okay. That's how repping, I'm feeling that pressure. You know, that's why I say, when you rep like you should rep, your reps, no matter how much weight you got, it's going to come down. Because you, you're getting that blood flowing to the muscle group that you're working. You circulate. See, proper blood circulation lead to proper muscle, muscle growth. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know that. Getting that pump. You see a lot of people, they work out, but they do it just just to work out. They don't really do it to say, you know what, I'm going to push my body so I can get the results to my quads, my calves, my traps, my lats, my bottom, my tribe, my chest, my abs. You understand what I'm saying? So those are the type of things you have to keep in mind. So the first time I did 30, 25, 20. I got one more set of these. Let's see what I can get. You notice my reps drop, but it's okay. I still want to be able to rep as much as I can. You know, pass the pain. So, man, this is actually a, it's a sun out, but it's actually a beautiful morning. It's actually cool out. You know, so. Notice how, you know, like I said, when you are limited, you got to put your brain to the test and say, okay, this is what I got to use, you know. I felt it. I said I want to push five more. So I got 20 reps off my last set. So that's what I'm saying. I could have stopped at 15, but I wanted to push through. And that's how you, that's how when you exercise, I tell people it's not, it's a lot of people that are stronger than me. You know, I'm not the strongest person. I'm not, it's a lot of people that people don't even work out strong, but it's about the mental fortitude, the consistency, the dedication. And like I say, in the mental toughness and, 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 and everything you put all into it that, that really evolves the two, the makeup of when it comes to the fitness world, to be able to uh, come as one when you're trying to get your whole body complete into the best shape you can get. And what I mean by that is, people are stronger than me, but they don't have the dedication and the repetition. They don't, they, I, I do this not just for entertainment, I do it because I have a passion for it. So, you know, even with everything going on, as you can see, I'm staying consistent on what I do. So that's the difference, man. You know, when you believe in yourself and, and really believe, put your mind to the test, you can get those extra gains and get better results.
head triceps extension right there. Now, you don't have to go. You could you really need a lot of weight with those. You know what I'm saying? Those these right here, you know, works the middle of the tricep, works it real good too. But like I say here, you could do 20, 25, just reps. These are 30s, not fear these. You know what I'm saying? So it's another exercise you can do, you know, for your back arm, you know, triceps, you know what I'm saying? You could do your kickbacks. So there's different ones you can do, and I show different ones, you know, you can do too. Well, you're doing a single arm, you know what I mean? Just, just one dumbbell, I meant to say, one dumbbell. You're doing two, you're doing your kickbacks, if you want to stand. So, wipe my face. Sweat out my eyes. Oh. Favorite exercise with a tricep too. You know, that's like I, I, I kind of miss the gym because that's something that I always. I love those triceps over here. Triceps over here. Dumbbells are good too though because you got to keep them steady. You know, keep, keep them steady as you can. You know, relax when you're doing them. You know what I'm saying? Because you can you can be stiff. So relax when you're doing them. And that's the key to it, you know, relaxation and breathing. That's another part of the formation and, you know, being able to have technique and keeping everything together as you're breathing. It's relaxing, you know. So, I'm not trying to go out and lift this person and do more in my video. No, I'm, I'm really trying to show people, you know, that you can get in shape with what you got. You know what I'm saying? You don't need heavy weight or the biggest machine. You just do it right. Like I said, you know, just spread it out. You know, do different, different exercises. You can do your bias. You can do one at a time. You can do your like that, the lats. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all different ones. And just you know, what I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the, the body squats you can do with the dumbbells too. So. Yes, yeah, sir. And I'm going to do 
one more of these triceps over here, it's just inches. But like I said, just spread it out, man. You know, do it, do get your reps in, get that burn. Remember repetition. You know. Oh. Fitness got to be a part of your life. It can't be something you do as a hobby. I want to say everybody have something they love to do. Well, golfing, skiing, hiking, camping, fishing. You know, they have something they love to do. That's what makes us all unique. Working out is what I love to do. So, you know, a lot of people may not be into working out, but they still admire your dedication. So, you know, this is something that, like I said, you know, I try to inspire and keep people going, you know, working out and keep your body healthy because that's key you know you want to be able to stay strong mentally and physically you know you want to keep on this in life too it's no matter what no matter what always stay positive always keep that balance always be determined never quit never give up you know those are the components those things that you want to be able to keep in mind when you are moving forward in life, or anything in life you're doing. So, whether that's going to college, anything, you want to keep that positive. You know, you want to stay focused on it. Don't never quit, no matter what it is. So, I'm going to show you all these squats. Oh. Still like this. Oh. You can do these. These are real good squats. You can do the body squats, whole lot squats, dumbbell squats. We'll hold the dumbbell, squat down. Close range, inner, out range, outer. Squats. And like I said, the sun's out, but it's actually a good breeze. Good, 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 cool day. Beautiful day. squats a lot of different ways man you know once you're getting in 
but it's like I say, you can, same thing, you know, you can lunge with them, dumbbells, you know, you can do your kickbacks, take your ankle weights and do your kickbacks. There's a lot of different ways to work your calves, your quads, you know what I'm saying, your glutes and all that, so. Two more sets of 20. That is. Woo. Oh. Oh. So that's why I said you can spread it out, man. You can spread it out. Just like doing front squats almost. So you know, you, when you bend down the squat, you feel that tension. You don't have to go as low. I'm just doing it because I'm used to doing it. Oh. Woo. Uh. Got one more set. Boy, Donnie Fitness, man. On this thing, man. Keeping y'all coming, man. Spread workout. And I'm at 36 minutes. Look what I done did in 36 minutes. So, it didn't take me a whole hour, hour 15 minutes. I understand, you know, you got beginners in the media advance, but my point is on this is that even beginners always watch your time in between sets. That's going to that's get gains too. You know, if you had a minute, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, or 15 seconds. So that's what I'm definitely saying. Not nothing against that, but I'm saying just watch the time in between. I mean, I'm talking, I'm explaining. That's why I ain't just going straight in the workout. I'm, I'm, I'm talking in between, but I'm still at under 40 minutes. I'm at 12. 
There you go, man. Spread workout. Once again, Donnie Fitness, man. I'll be back with some more, some more spread workouts. You know, we can do just, you're gonna work your body, so you just work your body however you wanna do it. You know, I try to talk a lot of different muscle groups. You know what I mean? So that's that, that kind of get them. That's what you wanna do a full body workout. So when you do two bicep workouts, two shoulder, two tries, two back, you know? So keep y'all coming, man. Like it, share, subscribe, Donnie Fitness. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a blessed day.